Hello, um, this is a, another PowerPoint tutorial and this one is a request from Ian Smith at Metro Productions in the UK and he wants to know how to um, create a presentation on a Mac and set it up to, so that it will also run on a PC if he gives it to a colleague. So what you can see here is that I've created a three slideshow presentation and all I've done is just block out my presentation and now I'm going to add my animation. So I'm going to click on each element and I'm going to um, get them to uh, let me see from right. So this is pretty standard stuff. You know how to do all of this. And if you're not sure how to do this, you can see my other presentations. So we want these these two to appear. We want these two to dissolve in. Um, click this. I want this to dissolve in as an exclamation mark. And so what we can do on here is click on appear here. Right. So I've set my basic animation all the way through this. But if you want to set up an automatic presentation, you need to make sure that you set these things up so they work automatically. If we click on left arrow here, we can see that the left arrow in a presenter presentation would be actioned because of the click on click. So what we do here is we click on with previous and from right and everything else is correct. And then we can click on here. We want this to come on um, after previous. Let's come back here. I actually want this one to be after previous as well. So this will be this is the first thing, and then after that will happen this, and then after that has happened, this will happen. So this this one here is the same sort of thing. We want this one to be um, after previous, but this one, the oval, we want it to appear at the same time as the top half of the exclamation mark. So we want this one to be with previous, and then this one here will be after previous. Now of course the previous here is the previous slide. So we've got this um, beginning to happen here. So if we actually have a quick, if we come up to slideshow and click on view slideshow, um, we need to click on setup show here. So we want to make sure that we've chosen here, by default it's set at uh, presented by a speaker, but we want to set this up as a kiosk full screen and we want it to loop continuously. So here, it's, so if it, that's not checked, you just click on here first of all and then browse the kiosk and by default we want to make sure it goes from slides one to three and we want to use timings if present not manually but use timings and click OK so what does this look like click on slideshow view slideshow and you can see but I'm not moving to the next slide the way I want to okay so now what we can do is we can set up some transitions so I'm going to highlight these three slides and I'm going to click on transition and I'm going to choose my transitions. I want them to, oh, I don't know, just choose dissolve, that'll do. So each one of these is going to dissolve into each one. Now, if we look at these, <coughs> these things might happen too quickly. So actually what we can do is we can look at the timings. So we might want to um, have this run in and then we want the next one to be delayed by a couple of seconds so we actually have some chance to um, see what's going on here and then we want to come down here and you might have um, no delay on this and you might have no delay on that but you can you can just work out your timings down here if you want to just to make sure that the information on your slide appears in the time scale that you want it to appear however if we come back to the transitions We've, we now need to make sure that our, our slides transition at a timely enough pace such that the content on each slide is a, um, able to be read by the viewer in a comfortable time and you're not pushing them through too quickly. So if we click on options here, what you can see here is that the, each slide will advance automatically. Now traditionally, it, it's by default it's on mouse click, but you want it automatically. And now if you've started to put timings in here, you've got lots of elements and you want people to read stuff, you can change the length of time each slide works. So you can make each slide five seconds and apply to all, or you just apply it to the individual slide. I'm going to apply to all. And that, in a nutshell, is how you set up an auto presentation um, for um, your Mac. So the question, though, is how can I then make this work on a PC? So we've just come back through slideshow, make sure all our settings are correct. So come back through here, set up show, 
It's going to be browsed at a kiosk in full screen, correct. It's going to loop continuously until you press escape, correct. You're going to show all slides and use timings if present. Click OK. This is all good. So now we need to save it. So we come to File. And we come, oops. Save As. And what we can do now here is, on the drop-down box here, we can come down here. And if we save it as Speciality Formats PowerPoint Show and or PowerPoint 97 to 2004 PPS, that gives you more options. Click on that. And I'll give this a name and I'll put this in my Dropbox and then I'll show what it looks like on my PC. So let's call this uh, Show Test. I'm going to put it on my Dropbox. Just over there, click save. 